His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, where they reviewed the deep rooted fraternal relations and the means to further enhance cooperation, joint action, and coordination in all domains that enhance common interests. Their Majesties also discussed a number of regional and international issues of developments, particularly the situation in the Middle East and the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa hosted Ramadan Majlis leaders at an iftar banquet at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's achievements since the launch of the kingdom's national development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne is an opportunity to recognize the many successes made so far. He exchanged greetings with the Majlis leaders on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, expressing his best wishes for continued progress and prosperity for the kingdom kingdom and its people under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted the establishment of an economic and investment model in Bahrain that prioritizes citizens, adding that the kingdom remains committed to advancing its comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the kingdom's achievements as a result of Team Bahrain's unwavering dedication, including that of the executive authority, the legislative authority, the private sector and civil societies. He affirmed the kingdom's faith in its skilled and capable national workforce, which continues to complete high-quality projects year after year. He noted that the holy month of Ramadan represents an opportunity to consolidate the values of tolerance, compassion, and communication, all of which are noble values taught by the Islamic religion. He underscored the importance of Ramadan majlises and strengthening national cohesion among different sects of societies, expressing pride in the noble values, morals, and mutual respect that characterize the people of Bahrain, which is the basis for preserving the kingdom's strong social fabric. His Royal Highness emphasized that safeguarding the kingdom is a priority and noted that Bahrain is blessed with robust security and safety, which must continue to be maintained. He noted that peace and tolerance represent important pillars for development, emphasizing the kingdom's commitment to implementing development programs and legislation to benefit citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed the kingdom's commitment to provide the best government services in accordance with the highest standards of quality and efficiency, and promoting a culture of creativity and innovation in developing these services to achieve the aspirations of Bahraini citizens and residents. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of continuing to strengthen partnerships with the private sector to further enhance its role as an active partner in the kingdom's development. He expressed gratitude to the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the commercial sector for ensuring the stability of prices and abundance of consumer goods during the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness highlighted the many achievements of the Economic Recovery Plan and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, which reflect the success of the people of Bahrain, and noted that evaluating the outcomes of the achievements continues to be a priority. He expressed his anticipation and optimism for Bahrain Economic Vision 2050 to build a brighter future for the kingdom and contribute to its ongoing development efforts under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness underscored Bahrain's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and its unwavering commitment to reaching a peaceful, lasting and fair solution in support of Palestinians' legitimate right to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The attendees expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering dedication to all members of society and for strengthening the social fabric of Bahrain, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officials were also in attendance.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Chairman of the Association of Engineering Officer Bahrain, Engineer Mazen Ahmed Al Amran, along with members of the Association's Board of Directors at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's skilled workforce, who continue to play a pivotal role in supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness congratulated the Association following the 10th anniversary of its establishment and wished the Association's success and its future endeavors. He recognized the association's role in cooperation with government agencies in supporting initiatives that regulate and organize the engineering profession in light of the advancement witnessed across various sectors in Bahrain. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of further upskilling the kingdom's workforce by providing educational and vocational training opportunities. He noted Bahraini engineers' advancement and efforts over the years that have had an impact on the kingdom's overall development. Engineer Mazen expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting his unwavering support to Team Bahrain, which has provided an incentive to meet the Kingdom's development goals. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also received the newly appointed ambassador to Brazil to Bahrain, Adriana Silva Pucci at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahraini-Brazilian relations and multi-sector collaboration, noting the Kingdom's commitment to furthering cooperation to achieve mutual aspirations. His Royal Highness welcomed the Brazilian ambassador to the Kingdom and wished him success in performing his diplomatic duties. He noted the mutual commitment to both countries to build on relations and further collaboration across all sectors. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. The ambassador expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering bilateral relations and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 18 of 2024 appointing directors at the National Communication Center, the NCC, based on a proposal by the CEO of the NCC. Article 1, Zainab Abdul Aziz Jassim al Nashid, Director of the Media Office, and Ali Ahmed Ali Al Jodar, Director of the Media Analysis and Follow Up. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 19 of 2024, appointing a Director at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, based on a proposal by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs. Article 1, Abbas Abdullah Hassan Al Haiki, Director of the Local Animal Production at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 20 of 2024, appointing two directors at the Civil Service Bureau, the CSB, based on a proposal by the President of the CSB. Article 1, Haytham Ali Khalil Nas, Director of Employee Performance and Relations, and Hamad Mohammed Abdurrahman Al Mullah, Director of Shared Human Resources Services Coordination. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 21 of 2024, granting the National Institute for Human Rights, the NIHR, observer status in a number of national committees based on the request of the NIHR and following the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1. The observer status shall be granted in the following national committees. The National Commission for Childhood, the High Committee for the Care of People with Disabilities, the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, and the National Committee for the Elderly. And Article 2, the heads of the national committees referred in to Article 1 of this edict shall invite the NIHR to attend their meetings. The institution will not have a counted vote in their deliberation. The NIHR shall determine who will represent it at the meetings of the national committees mentioned in Article 1 of this edict. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Chairwoman of the Board of Directors of the National Bank of Bahrain, Hale Yatim, opened the NBV Multiple Sclerosis Center project in Amhara Governorate in the presence of the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Government Hospitals, members of the Board of Directors of the NBB, the Bank's Executive Management, and a number of officials and representatives of relevant authorities. The SCA Chairman noted that the center is a result of the community partnership between the public and private sector and reflects the belief of national companies and their community responsibility towards the development of society. He had the support of NBB to finance the establishment of the center and equip it according to the best medical and engineering standards.
In the presence of the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, the UAE ambassador to Bahrain, Fahad Al Amri, visited the heritage village in Ras Hayyan, where he met the crew of the traditional competition program, Asaria. This year's edition was dedicated to celebrating the heritage of each Gulf state as a reflection of Bahrain's approach of strengthening the joint Gulf media system to become more expressive of the aspects of development and progress in Gulf countries, in addition to highlighting their rich ancient history and authentic national heritage. This week's episodes highlighted the development of the UAE and its heritage. The visit of the UAE ambassador to the program was an appreciation for the efforts of the Ministry of Information to introduce viewers to the popular heritage of Gulf countries and for the program crew to share the details of the episode. The National Institution for Human Rights welcomed the edict of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on granting the NIHR observer status in a number of national committees based on the request of the Institute. The NIHR sees that this step will develop the practices and procedures of the institution to implement its powers in accordance with the law of its establishment. It expressed appreciation to the approval of the government on expanding the scope of the NIHR's work. The president of the NIHR, Engineer Ali Al Razi, commended the constructive cooperation of the executive authority to support the work of the institution, noting that it will strengthen implementing the NIHR's mandate to protect human rights and strengthen its relations with government institutions and stakeholders. He noted the executive authority's keenness to strengthen its effective policies in promoting and protecting human rights to consolidate peace, stability, security, and sustainable development. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in marking the World Autism Awareness Day on the 2nd of April in order to enhance their community participation. More on this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain is distinguished by its pioneering experience in the field of integrated social policies between the government and private sectors and in achieving the principles of justice, equality and equal opportunities amongst all citizens in general and the people with special needs in particular. On the anniversary of World Autism Awareness Day, the Ministry of Social Development highlights the importance of continuing to provide various means of support to people with autism and enhancing their integration into society. The ministry covers the annual cost of rehabilitating the beneficiaries of these centers, where the ministry has worked on licensing procedures for the purpose of rehabilitating people with autism, in addition to dispersing a monthly allocation of 200 Bahraini dinars. A comprehensive disability complex was also established in Ali area, which aims to provide aspects of care and rehabilitation for people with social needs. Working to build a Bahraini society based on the principles of integration and inclusivity are in line with the approach of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in order to achieve the principles of justice, equality and equal opportunities. <laughs> 